I I I am here to make the world a better place. A better place. A better place. Awesome. We are a group of 11 students who came from all over the world to the Netherlands to study at Windesheim. We are studying constructive journalism and global project management at Windesheim Honors College. During this study, we are working on a project to make the world a better place. And we want you to have part in our journey. Come with us to see behind the scenes of Windesheim Honors College. WHC, we started uh, 10 years ago with our program because we noticed that we need to educate our young professionals in addressing sustainability issues. And we are trying to do this uh, by educating our students in global challenges. And we try to build a community of learners so that the lecturers are not only the experts because we think the students also are experts on their own. Uh, and it's more about trying to create a community of learners together. I was looking for a study which was already like um, really practical oriented to change the world because I was before in a different study but it was just mostly theory and not um, I didn't feel like I could actually change something, but here at WHC we have clients since the first day, so I feel I really learn the practical skills and I get more confident that I actually can change something in the world. I think the community is really the thing that I, I really love the most, the fact that everybody knows everybody and if you have an idea you can just tell somebody and it'll get started and you have so much creative freedom to do things that interest you and you can work more on your interests and yeah, make something happen. <laughs> Within Windesheim Honors College, we have the program Global Projects in Change Management. And we are one of the few programs in the Netherlands that are a member of the United Nations Academic Impact. Which means that our programs are connected to the United Nations. So this can be seen in every project. Basically in every course, every course, everything we do is connected to one of the SDGs or maybe one or two. SDGs are the Sustainable Development Goals. They come in the place of the Millennium Development Goals. Back in the year 2000, the United Nations set a goal for 2050, uh, a list of goals actually, eight goals. And after most of those eight goals were completed, they have set another goal for 2030. And that's what the uh, Sustainable Development Goals are. There are 17 different goals. And most of them have to do either with the big goal to uh, stop poverty, to end poverty, and to fight climate change. In order to do that, students of Honors College go to different parts of the world. Currently, there are five teams who went to the Philippines, Aruba, Ghana, Uganda and Kosovo, where they work on their projects to make the world a better place. And one team stays here in the Netherlands to report about their projects in a constructive way. Since constructive journalism is part of our minor, we want to show you what it has to say. Constructive journalism says, uh, as a journalist, you are actively constructing the news. So you're making decisions about what goes in the story, what doesn't go into the story. And basically, constructive journalism is a movement of journalists saying that you should be conscious about that. And should, you should be a force for good in the world. In essence, constructive journalism boils down to solution-oriented, future-oriented, and perspective-oriented reporting. Even we see that if the uh, article or the news item is constructive, then what we see is the introduction, or even the, the, the lead and the, the uh, title, is often very negative. So it seems that journalists expect that negativity is what people want. But they do not have proof of that, because what we see is, like the, the bigger international research, there was a very nice research in the Reuters Institute, that shows that if you look at avoidance of news, that in the Netherlands about 27% of the people avoid the news, and not unconscious, but consciously. And the reason, number one reason, is the negativity of the news. They don't want to have all that negativity, because 
in reality, the world is better than ever. What we do a lot at Winners I'm Honors College is professional and personal development. And there's two sides. Some people love it, some people really dislike it. I personally love it because you just have a lot of time to really dig into what you really want in your life. So the Leadership Development Program runs alongside uh, the whole process of a, a small group of students having to create and set up and run a project for a client which is usually abroad. There is one group that works in Holland and then there are several groups that work abroad. And integrated with this whole process that's quite intense and demanding is the leadership development module which supports the student to be very reflective in uh, their own development as a person but also in how they engage with their team. We as a team had a lot of struggles. <laughs> I don't know how in depth we should go but yeah we had a lot of ups and downs. Mostly a lot of downs at some points. So part of the leadership development program is a set of trainings some of the topics covered in the trainings are related, uh, for example, to conflict uh, management, how do you deal with conflicts in a team, but also to things like how can I develop a growth mindset as an individual for my personal path of change and development. The fact that we have this leadership development module, which is a big important part of the program, not just an afterthought or a little extra, and it's costly because we give a lot of individual attention to students. I think it really shows the vision that if we want to change the world, we can't just go out there and have our bad habits and treat each other badly in our small intimate circles while we want to make the world a just and unified place. It, that's hypocritical. So the learning journey is actually both ways, not just for our students, but also for the students from constructive journalism, which makes this exchange program a full exchange, not just based on knowledge, on country, on culture. It's really incorporating everything in an exchange semester. So can your students really change the world? <laughs> I think it's quite difficult. I think that change will happen, but it's not like um, we educate uh, our students for four years and they come to the newsroom and there are a lot of routines and a lot of standards and a lot of old-fashioned thinking in the newsrooms. So it will not be like, okay, we put them there and they will change. But what I see and what I realize is that in the newsroom there are a lot of questions that the journalists can't answer and they're looking for young people who have new ideas, who have other perspectives. So I really think on the long term there will be change, but it's not from today to tomorrow. So I hope I will see it in the news media, but I think I will. I, I'm convinced I will. Well, thank you for this interview. Thank you for your precious time. Thank you, Windesheim Honors College, for having us here this semester. And let's make the world a better place together. 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 Awesome.